Well, everyone, I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but hopefully um, I'll put this one out. Um, had a lot to do around the house and with work and stuff like that, so I just hadn't spent very much time metal detecting, but I did get out a couple of times, didn't find a whole lot, found a flat button. I might show you that clip in just a second, but uh, I'm out at one of my big permissions today. So I've done some work out here. This is the uh, one of the cabins out here. This used to be a caretaker's home, I think, in the uh, 30s. But they pulled the um, asbestos siding on it and exposed the uh, shaker siding and then stained it. So um, hunters out here doing a little work. But um, yeah, I'm going to head over to an area that I spent very little time in and kind of explore it and see if I can find anything. And hopefully I'll find something. If not, maybe I'll explore around and show you a little bit of that video. So um, just bear with me for a while. Um, i still got a lot to do around the house and stuff like that. But I'll be putting out some videos shortly. And... Uh, that's it. I hopefully will see you at the first find. I have permission for all of this uh, pines, and I found that William Pitt medallion over in that area. So I'm going to actually use a CTX and go in the front part. That's actually towards the main road out there. See what I can find, and I'll see you at the first find. All right, I wasn't finding a whole lot up in the front, so I came back down more in that area where I found that uh, William Pitt medal, and the graveyard is down that way. But I think I got a coin down in here the edge of it right there. Might be modern. Well, I know. Oh, yep. <laughs> Just a copper memorial. Oh, well, at least it's a coin. I'm not finding a whole lot yet. Well, the penny was right there, and I thought this might be a coin spill, but uh, like a foot and a half over, or two feet over, something like that. There's something right there, but once I saw it, I wasn't sure. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a flat button. Got some age to it, it's just a plain flat button. It's a pretty old one too, the uh, shank's not centered on the back. It does have a back mark on there. I think it says guilt, guilt, guilted or something. Alright, like I said, it's got a little age on it, that's a good sign. Alright, I got a good signal down in there, and I am using the Deus. CTX was giving me some problems again, so, and that's a new one, so I don't know what's wrong with it. Could be user error, but I don't think so. So, I got the reliable Deus, and this is what I just got out of that hole right here. Looks like a padlock keyhole cover. It's, yep, that's what it is. And I think it just says uh, patented on it. Well, down in that hole, I thought it was a shotgun shell at first, but there's something right there. And it might be jewelry. Cleaned up with a toothbrush. See it right there? And you can see where there was a little pin on the back to attach it to the clothes. Right there to right there. A little pendant or something. Well, this is the back of one of the really big hay fields. And uh, I've been that way a little bit. I haven't really been back around that way. And there's a little inlet on the Salt Creek right there. So I'm going to explore around it, kind of over that way, and then maybe kind of come back around. There is a road that crosses over. On the other side, but um, yeah, I'm gonna see what uh, what I can find in there. I think I'm gonna use the CTX today. I actually think I have I've had some problems with it, but I think I got it sorted out, so I'm gonna use that today, um, especially around these salt creeks and stuff. See what I can find. Hopefully, I see it the first time. Well, down in that hole is my first diggable target. It's just a chunk of iron, but that means there's activity in this area. I came from over that way. Didn't get hard, didn't get any signals till I got here. And if you look. Mostly the trees clear up in there. That's where the little salt inlet or the uh, salt marsh is. Oh, look at that tree. It's like the uh, in insects got to the inside of it and then uh, must have been a strong wind. It still would have taken a strong wind to shear it, shear it over like that. It's a decent sized tree. I 
seen actually a couple of those out here like that. Um, I just passed one a minute ago where the top of it had fallen out. So now we've had, we've had some pretty strong storms. Well, it's not metal treasure, but right there on the ground I found a point for a book. And it looks like it's cracked off, so it's not a full set of antlers, but hey, I'll take it. I might could do something with that. Put it in the pouch. It's all the treasure I found so far. Well, here's a little old marsh inlet that goes uh, up there and stops. A lot of animal prints in here. Which are raccoon prints. And human prints, mine. Deer print in there. See the deer print right there. I thought I saw a raccoon print right there. I don't see any coyote prints, but there are coyotes out here. I don't see any. But anyway, I think I'm going to go over there and try to hug that shoreline right there around on that point. I don't think I've ever been over there before. Well, I'm on that point. I'm not finding anything, but that's okay because it's really nice out here. It's cool too. It's like in the 50s right now. So, it is really nice. Tide is actually still coming in. When I went across the uh, causeway over there, it was going that way through the pipe. So that means it's going in because it would be going that way if it was going out because the main river is out there and then the ocean's out that way. All right, I'll show you some more when I uh, see anything interesting. All right, that's the big creek out there and this is the edge of the property on the creek. That actually, on that point over there, is part of the property. And in the time when they did chip farming, early 1900s there was a dock out there and they used to bring the ships in and get the produce and stuff but I've never found a whole lot right there but right along that edge there were four houses like oh uh, I don't know if they were worker houses or whatever they're on a 1919 map or 1909 map I can't remember which one I think they're on both but anyway but it's so grown up in there with briars and stuff you really can't get in there to metal detect so hopefully one day they'll clear it and can get in there. All right, I'm gonna keep going all around, see what I can find. I don't normally do this, but on iron, so luckily I think this is iron. Hear that? That's big. It's kind of rounded. It's right there. That might be a shell. I've never found a full shell. If that's what that is, it's big though. All right, let me uh, let me dig it out. Hopefully that's what it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, now I think it's a plantation hoe. Because I can see the edge of it right there. See? That's not a shell. Oh well, I'm going to dig it out anyway. See if that's what it is. Because that's a good sign if it is. That's exactly what this is. It's a hoe. I'm not worried about breaking it. But I want to check something. Yeah. Huh. It's hard to tell. Really old ones. There's a piece here, well, I say piece, but it's molded on, I mean, uh, forged onto it, where they forged it, a little uh, reinforcement piece here. These are, those are 1800s, and without the reinforcement piece, they're even older. So, but that's definitely an old hoe, because it would have slid down on a handle. So hopefully there'll be some more stuff right in here. And that whole piece of heavy curved iron, I think that's a piece of a kettle. Might have been a camp right in here. On the hoe in this piece of kettle. Put that in the pouch. Now, if you can see them down there, there's a little black racer. Right down in there. I'm not gonna mess with them, but he took off over that way. I know there's snakes out here. There's much bigger snakes and much more dangerous snakes than that out here. Um, those aren't poisonous, so. But uh, there are some big rattlesnakes out here. And I've seen a big water moccasin too, but uh, not in this area. But I'm sure there's rattlesnakes in here. But I'll keep my eye out. I've been keeping my eyes peeled to the ground. So there's a big old wax head. Fairly old one too. Huh. Yeah, it looks like they were beating it and pounding it on top. I've been all around this place. Right there where the equipment is. Down this cobalt blue glass bottle. It's not very old. Maybe 40s. 50s. 
But it's a nice blue. I might put that in a pouch. It's got a screw cap on it. It says Vicks Fabo Row. So that's a jar of Vicks. Probably not really that old, actually. See any numbers on it that might date it. Hope I'm going to put it in the pouch anyway. Well, I didn't find a whole lot where I was exploring, but I came out into the fields. Um, and I found a lot of buttons and things in this area. And there was a uh, house in here somewhere. And there's a cistern over there in the edge of the wood. But my first decent signal. Something laying down there. Looks like a folded over button or something. Let's see. Oh, that's a folded over coin. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, it's folded over, but definitely a coin. It's nice and thick. All right, let me clean it up. I'll take it, even though it's folded over. Clean up with the See what it is. Hopefully, I can tell what it is. I hit this area pretty hard. I found a. Uh, I don't know if you can see over that way. I found a federal eagle, early federal eagle button over there. I thought it was a George Washington inaugural button at first, but it turned out just to be a federal eagle button. Let's see. Huh. May not be able to tell what this is because it's folded over. Some detail on the inside. Definitely a coin. There it is. Definitely a coin. Too bad it's rolled up like that. Alright, I'll clean it up when I get home. I can see some detail on the inside of it. See if I can tell what it is. Most of the stuff that's come out of here are like uh, half pennies and stuff as far as things I'm not sure about this one well, mid-tone like a 12 21 11 21 I think I got a bag seal or bail seal Yep, pretty sure that's what that is. I'm finding out, finding those. Clean it up a little bit, see if there's anything on it. Could be a smashed uh, pistol ball. It's actually more rounded on the uh, other side. Belt seals are usually flat on both sides where they're pressed. See, kind of rounded on that side. It might be a flattened pistol ball. I got a high tone and I see a buckle down in there. But uh, this is always real grown up. There's a ditch right right in there actually. But the tractor turned the corner here and actually knocked it down and plowed it up. So I need to bring some of these uh, lines up. There's a buckle. I think I nicked it a little bit. I think there was some uh, iron down in there as well. Got it on the corner just a little bit. Now not a ton of metal signals in this field, but you can see the pottery piece there. Piece of blue glass there. All kinds of pottery. Can't even pick it all up. Sometimes I'll pick up the more interesting pieces. But I hit this pretty hard, so I don't know if I'm going to find anything or not. I did find that coin over there, though. Well, that's a more interesting piece right there. It's got a design on it. I'll pick that up and take it with me. All right, digging this. I was getting an iron signal, but I was also getting a little squeak there, repeatable back and forth. And the uh, first thing I noticed was this little piece of black glass. 
Then uh, some oyster shell came out of there. Black glass was on top of the ground. And this popped out and it's brass with some iron. And I don't know what it is. It's only a piece of brass. We have cut up quite a few fire ants, but I think I see it right there. Yep. Huh. It's pretty neat. It's got two little pins on the back. So it went on leather or something like that. Let me clean that with the toothbrush, I'll show you. Well, I don't think there's a design on there, but that's the front. There's the back with the little attachment pieces on it. It's an interesting little piece. All right, guys, I walked all around that backfield back there. And, uh, man, there's a ton of aluminum in this field. Probably the next time they plow, I'm going to try to get out here, clean some of that aluminum out. I did on this side over here. Found a bunch of buttons and stuff. But I'll have to on this side. And uh, I walked all the way around, in and out, in and out, in and out, around that field. So, and then I made my way back to the truck. Didn't find a whole lot, but it's been nice getting out here. It's a nice cool day. Let's go down here and I'll show you what I have. I don't have a ton. But I got to make a couple of good finds. So that makes my day. Yep. Got some pieces of pottery with uh, some design on it. Piece of lead, which might be a pistol bullet. This buckle. I don't know what this is. I found that in the woods. It's a piece of iron. I think I got this coin. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's a coin. Let's see if I can get any detail off of it once I rinse it off good. And I got that little piece. Looks like it went on some leather or something. That's it. So I'll see you at the next time.